Good morning. It is day eight of our road trip. We are leaving Denver this morning. It's about almost 6.30 and heading towards the Mammoth site in South Dakota and then on to Mount Rushmore. And tonight we're staying in Sheridan, Wyoming. It was another rough night at the Ramada. We had a guy yelling about midnight very loudly and then he smashed a window. So the police came and were knocking on every door and getting everybody up to find out what had gone on. So that was fun. We're sad to leave Denver. We only scratched the surface of seeing things. So we'll definitely have to come back. There was a lot to see and do. I'm definitely staying in a different place. Yes, I will definitely not recommend the Ramada downtown in Denver. Did not feel safe there. No. We walked everywhere in pairs at least, and the the nights were pretty scary. So don't go to that Ramada. Very sketchy. We decided to take the route today through Nebraska to the Mammoth site. It actually adds some time onto our trip, but we've never been to Nebraska, so we wanted to check it out. See? Livestock friendly. That's why I smell this kind of smell. It smells like cow poo cows. <laughs> cow poo poo. Merle, Nebraska. Population 971. 971, there you go. I have a massage parlor. <laughs> well, they're hard worker farmers. Mm -hmm. Their wives. <laughs> it's a cute little town. Yeah. Tractor Cemetery. Right, this is what? Well, it's the grassland. I think it's supposed to lava. It's the natural grassland on the border close to South Dakota. It is beautiful. Look at all those colors. On the bugs hitting the windshield. <laughs> so that's bugs. Look. Oh man, I don't know how many we have. We made it to South Dakota. There's Mount Rushmore. We should see that today. Never been to South Dakota before. You've never been to South Dakota? Nope. We've arrived at the Mammoth site in Hot Springs, South Dakota. It is the world's largest mammoth research facility. Welcome to the Mammoth site. The animals whose bones are preserved here lived about 140,000 years ago, during the last ice age, in a time known as the Pleistocene. Young male mammoths seeking an easy lunch and an attractive bathing pool entered the sickle and couldn't climb back out. Scientists believe the mammoths and other animals were actively being trapped here over many millennia, creating a rich deposit of fossils. The Mammoth Site is a working paleontological site, and the task of excavating, discovering, and preserving this wealth of Ice Age information continues today. As an insect in excavation, digging is undertaken with great care. Tools such as trowels, dental picks, and paintbrushes are favored in order to avoid damage to bones. Many specimens are left exposed in the ground in order to allow visitors and scientists to see exactly where the bones have been uncovered. The mammoth site are very fragile. They are not petrified or turned to stone by dinosaur bones. Mammoth site bones have had the original organic molecules leached out by soaking in the warm water and thus are very dry. 
All of the bones you will see in the sinkhole have been treated with preservatives to prevent them from damage and deterioration. So in the mammoth site, they found a total of 61 mammoths, all of which are male, and there are three main reasons why they think that. One reason is because they said that the female mammoths pushed the male ones in, and then... Wait, which one did Tilly do? Female paleontologists thought that the males were too stubborn to ask for directions. The most widely accepted and actual scientific theory is that um, Mammoths, when they reach a certain age, they are rejected from the herd to go and live their own lives, which is, and all the mammoths that they found are about the age when they were to leave, which was around 1939 years old. So uh, they believe that the mammoths were by themselves when they fell into the sinkhole and died. We finished up at the mammoth site, which was really cool. Um, then we grabbed some quick lunch, and now we're on our way to Mount Rushmore. Seven miles. Take a slight right turn onto Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Wow. We found the tourists. We were all by ourselves for a long time, and now we're back to civilization. No, I think we're back with the crowds. That's it. We're still in the woods. <laughs> well, there was no cars on the road for a really long time. I think everybody else must have taken a different route. The long route. to Mount Rushmore. So there's no entrance fee per person, but there is a parking fee, which is $10 per vehicle. So Tuli is listening to the audio tour for us and giving us all the information. We just passed through the Avenue of Flags, which has all 50 state flags, the District of Columbia flag, and the five territory flags as well, which represents that we are all united underneath the one flag, the American flag, and it symbolizes our com uh, like camaraderie as a nation. The actual Mount Rushmore, though, is known throughout the world as a shrine to democracy, representing free ideas, a fairly elected government, and uh, a more perfect union, you know, all that kind of jazz and whatnot. Mount Rushmore took 14 years to make between 1927 and 1941 and was overseen by Gutsum Berglund. He, him, his son, and their crew spent those years blasting away at the rock and shaping it into the beautiful monument that we see today. Uh, Berglund's son said that there were four requirements for the mountain to be made. It had to be made out of a strong enough rock that it would be sturdy enough to survive and the monument would last. It had to be facing in a direction that would give it enough sunlight, that it would be easily illuminated. It had to be made for the right purpose to reshape the mountain into the monument. And then there's a fourth reason that I forgot. What's up? A wants to go all the way up there, which he thinks that's the, that's what the hike to do. Well, I think this is the end of the hike. What do you think? It's buzz. I, um, I think they should have like a trail that gets closer. Actually, they do, but it's under construction. You said it went all the way into the head. Two of the most obvious faces on Mount Rushmore are Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. Abe Lincoln was chosen because Burglum really, really liked the guy. He really admired his uh, actions in the Civil War. He um, admired him for the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all the slaves in the southern states as a tactical move to create chaos and unrest in the South, while also giving them fresh uh, troops to fight with. George Washington, on the other hand, was universally seen as like a no-duh. 
Uh, everybody knew him as the father of America, he was our first president for two terms, and he was uh, the general who led the army against Britain in the Revolutionary War. But a lot of people say that the most important thing that he didn't do, he didn't continue leading after his two terms. Thomas Jefferson was included in the Mount Rushmore Monument for a couple of reasons. One of which being that he was that in the his draft of the Declaration of Independence, he wrote, "All men are created equal and are given unalienable rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness." And while this is a little bit ironic coming from him, because he was a part of the Virginian slave-owning aristocracy, it also shows the the growth and development of the ideals of our country. Theodore Roosevelt's inclusion in the Mount Rushmore Monument was a little controversial, as he had only left office in years previous to the beginning of the construction of the monument. A lot of people feel like felt like history hadn't had enough time to properly judge the 26th president, but um, Borglum thought that his close friend embodied the ideals of our country and was one of the few presidents who had the vision to see our potential. Proceed to the route. Those two that didn't go down the trail, actually those four that didn't go down the trail. We're not that far from Mount Rushmore and we saw, I think this is a lake. It's called Pine Creek. Hilton and the kids are trying to decide if they want to go swimming here or not. I see some fish right here. Not that many. Yeah, there are fish right in the. Finally, we saw we found a Wyoming sign. Woohoo! Finally, that's enough.